Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kyle here, bringing you another video today. Today is just going to be a lure discussion. Um, it's pretty much a mixture of reviews and opinions on lures. Essentially, it's an excuse for me to post a video when I don't really have that much to talk about. So, you'll be seeing this pretty often on my channel. But today, I'm going to be talking about the Mega Bass crankbait. Megabex FT crank knuckle. Not about the pamphlet, we're gonna be talking about the uh, actual crankbait because I just got it the other day. Before I show you that, I picked up a Molex Super NATO. Not the Beetle, but I picked up a Molex Super NATO. If you watch my bass fishing tournament tips video, you'll know I talked about the Molex Super NATO and as my Really, it's my tournament winning bait. Seriously sharp hooks. This one is a hybrid crankbait. Essentially, it's a top water crankbait. But also, if you squeeze it down, which you squeeze it down, you poke this in really pretty much. It becomes just a regular crankbait, but it's weedless, completely weedless. Has like frog hooks, but these are seriously, seriously sharp. The only thing with the Molex is they're very expensive, they're like sixteen dollars for this crankbait, fifteen, sixteen dollars. So, yeah, just wanted to quickly show you that. I'll show you the bait when I get it. That's my really tournament-winning bait. Let me fix this real quick. Sorry. So today we're going to be talking about Mega Bass. And this new crankbait I picked up called the Knuckle. This is something. $22 for a crankbait. Worth every single penny. First of all, it's got this rattle on it. Pretty heavy rattle, nice rattle. Seriously sticky sharp hooks. Now the thing I like, I like about this, other than yeah, sorry about the voice crack there. All right, let's just take a look at this paint job first. It's pretty cool. Oh wait, sorry. I also forgot this angle here. It looks a lot different than a lot of crankbaits from this particular angle, I've noticed. The mouth actually forms like a fish's mouth. This bill is also pretty unique in the way it's shaped. Uh, so, it allows for this... You get you can have so much... You have so much control over this this lure. When you, If you really know how to work a crankbait, you really have a lot of control over this. I took this out to the pond... For, that it isn't really melted over, it's warm out, I'm sorry, it really isn't uh, frozen over, it was warm out the other day, and I just wanted to throw this thing, I didn't get any bites, I mean, any uh, hooks on it, but I, I got a couple of bites, they may have just been wool rocks, I don't know, it's hard to tell during the winter time, but, yeah, I, I really had full control over this bait, and that's one thing I really want with lures is to have full control over the bait at all time so a lot of guys are going to have a lot of I'm going to have a problem dropping $22 in a single crankbait but for me as a serious tournament angler I really don't think that it's that big of a deal to drop $22 in a lure that you can really use for a long time as long as you don't lose it if you lose it well you got to drop $22 on it but for me, I don't have any problem spending money on tackle. I really don't. I enjoy it. But, yeah. I think I might pick this up in a lot of different colors. And I know it's going to be expensive. But, obviously, as I only got one. I got it in this perch color. Fire Tiger perch color, which I always say is my favorite color. It's a 3 8 ounce. It says it right on the top here. I'm really excited to use this. It's probably going to be the first bait I throw on April 3rd, which is my first uh, ABA tournament this year. 
pretty excited. Hopefully it stays throughout the whole season so I can take it to Alabama with me. But I'll be definitely getting it in a different color. But you know right now I'm going to go to Alabama this year to uh, do a bass fishing national tournament. Maybe I'll see some of you guys there. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Ow. Really sharp hooks on uh, these other lures. And uh, just a quick lure discussion about expensive lures versus cheap lures. Now... One of the main things with expensive lures that you almost always get are super sharp, well, always get, are super sharp quality hooks. Now, for me, I'd rather spend an extra five bucks and get the hooks already coming on them than having to buy something else that, um, get, buy, like, Gamagatsu hooks for ten dollars and whatnot, buy, like, and put them on myself because I have a problem putting on the hooks. As you may or may not already know, it's hard for me to put the hooks on. Uh, fine motor skills issues, so I have problems putting hooks on. But, yeah. A lot of times, also with a cheaper lure, like I'll just show in this Rick's Clum plastic jerkbait that I've already changed the hooks out of. Sometimes, the $5 lures have better paint jobs. I'm, I'm sorry. They sometimes will have better paint jobs and better action occasionally. Sometimes they won't. Sometimes obviously it should be a cheaper lure and they won't be as good quality. For example, this jerkbait's going to probably have a better action than uh, some of these other jerkbaits. Because the money in this lure when I got it was all in the lure. They weren't. It wasn't in the hooks. Uh, Rick Clun obviously knows that they're gonna change out the hooks. So, why not? If you're one of these lower brand baits, why not put all your money into the actual bait and not put any money in the hooks that are just gonna be changed out anyway? Uh, so that's what Strike King does. Strike King does that. They put all their money into the bait. They don't put any money into those hooks. Um, Live Target, Copper's Live Target puts all the money into making a quality bait and with quality hooks. So that I say your best bet if you're gonna go with lure is go with a, a Copper's Live Target drink bait or bait ball because or anything Live Target related. I say we go with because those are have the best quality for the money. You also can go with something like you know, Rapala DT ten. Decent hooks, good paint job, great action. This is also pretty good for your money, but it's a ruffler, so it's kind of expensive. But yeah, just a quick channel update now. Tomorrow, um, I should be having a tackle warehouse up unboxing. It's a small one. It's not the big one I'm ordering. Um, I'm going away next week, so... Hopefully I'll be able to put out some videos. I don't know yet. I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm probably getting a new reel next week. I'm not sure yet uh, if it's gonna be a reel and probably a swim bait or two. We'll see. I'm really excited because I found these swim baits that I saw and I like like the videos of them and I really want to pick them up. I'm also saving up. Saving up meaning I'm just waiting for the season. For an Amakatsu Gilroyd. It's an $80 swim bait. But I really want it. So I'm probably going to drop the money on that. So that's just coming up. A couple of unboxings. Obviously still saving up for the GoPro. The GoPro is. I'm trying to have it by April 3rd. which is my first bass fishing tournament. Um, I'm going to be having videos. For both casual fishing. And bass fishing tournaments. So. If you don't want to watch me do tournaments and you want to watch me just casually bass fish, musky fish, catfish, carp, whatever else you guys want to see, uh, striped bass, uh, fluke in the ocean, bluefish, stuff like that. I uh, might even go on a tuna charter. I'm not sure about that yet. Yeah, that, that's a big if. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so that kind of stuff is definitely going to be shown too. But my goal for the GoPro is April 3rd. Uh, I got to get. The big tackle warehouse uh, order, you'll see what that is. A couple of you 
maybe one or two of you, uh, not even that many, know know what it is. Or some of you probably have an idea. I, I mentioned it in a couple of videos, or what it is. But, yeah, that's about that. Uh, I still gotta do a review, a review on this Field Retrieve Tech Spec Elite, which is my frogging musky rod. So, keep on the lookout for that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if this one's not probably the most entertaining video I've ever made, but I just wanted to put out some content for you guys to watch. I hope you enjoyed the Super Bowl. I did not. I was rooting for Carolina. Carolina is one of my favorite teams, so I was for Carolina, and they lost, obviously. So I hope you guys enjoyed your Super Bowl. I hope you guys also enjoyed your weekend. And uh, just remember to keep tight lines and keep fishing.